A very intense earthquake hit Bangladesh, magnitudes anywhere from 6.0, 5.9, something like this, some say 5.5, every agency reports it different, but strong violent shaking, buildings collapsed, people were lost, people were injured. And I wanna start this video with a quote from a resident that lived through it and has given us his experience. So he says, a massive earthquake hit Bangladesh today. Meanwhile, I was asleep on the third floor of my building. Suddenly everything began to shake. I sat up disoriented, but my sleepy brain couldn't figure out what was actually happening at the moment. My eyes landed on the aquarium. The water wasn't just waving, it was literally bouncing. In that instant, my brain clicked, right? Um, this was an earthquake. For a brief moment, I thought, is the building really going to collapse now? I didn't think about money or any valuable items in my home. I didn't even grab my own smartphone. I just got our family out. It was the most intense earthquake I have ever felt. I'm grateful we're safe. A reminder that we should always respect our creator. Now think about places like Japan or Bhutan, countries that face quakes often. Yeah, can you still sleep at night and rest? But not only the two countries that he mentioned face that quite often, other countries as well. Remember Campi Fligri, not in that high magnitudes, but constantly. I have given you an update just a few hours ago, and it's a concerning one because there have been a, has been a convention of scientists. It's in the end screen. But while I'm speaking here, you see the videos of the earthquake, what has happened there, and uh, buildings were really... I guess detached from their foundations, multiple story homes were tilting and, and flipping in one direction. Really not a nice uh, view to see that. And in light of what we see from Bangladesh, the reports say five people lost so far, but is that the final number? I have my doubts when I look at these pictures. That's why they say at least five people lost. We know the numbers, 460 people injured so far after this earthquake. The epicenter of the earthquake was close to the Narzingdi district, about 30 kilometers, that's 18.6 miles from the capital of Dhaka. And uh, yeah, not only this one um, person that gave us his insight. It's people were rushing from residential buildings while buildings were shaking strongly and makeshift structures were collapsing. At least 10 students were injured in a stampede as they tried to leave the Dhaka University. So people were rushing out and then stamping over each other, unfortunately. And they also said, we have never experienced an earthquake this powerful in the last five years. That's what the county's, the country's environmental advisor has said. And we know that people were lost when a railing and debris fell from a five-story building in Dhaka's Amanitola area. And that's the problem. People have this reflex running out of the buildings, but then you can be hit by falling objects stucco or or something from the buildings if you have glass towers you can be hit by falling glass so <laughs> well the question is is that building stable enough that it will not collapse then it's better to duck cover and hold on but if you, of course if you think your building will collapse you have no other choice you have to run outside so and you have a millisecond to decide so that's a very very difficult decision what the authorities are saying is they say our main task at the moment is to assess how, how many people are lost and the damage to infrastructure and buildings. Um, we're not yet seeing the challenge of rescue from the rubble or debris um, management at that level, but they say it's too early to tell. And there's more um, testimonies 
Um, one guy said, I have never felt such a tremor in my 30 years of life. We were at the office when the furniture started shaking. We rushed down the stairs on the street and saw other people on the road already. Um, another student who was sleeping at the time of the earthquake told um, the news agencies the whole building was shaking and tremors were felt in eastern Indian states that are bordering Bangladesh but there were no reports of major damage. And and guys, why is this happening? Um, I remembered um, a scientific publication that I was reading quite a long time ago, but that was mentioning that beneath Bangladesh, there is a ticking time bomb. And they were warning, and that was back in 2016. They said the earthquake will come. No one can say when, but scientists are warning that it could be huge. And what they mentioned at that time, Bangladesh, a country so densely populated and ill-prepared. The people lost, they said it could be unprecedented. Well, this earthquake here, it's, they have downgraded it now, many say 5.5. Well, we're not talking about a 6.5 or a 7, which is many, many times larger. The scientists have been monitoring the ground in Bangladesh for quite a while. And they already started in 2003 when they set up several GPS instruments around the country. And they have analyzed tiny changes in the distances between these fixed instruments and others that they have installed in neighboring countries. So they have determined that the ground upon which Bangladesh, we have to say, is resting, is moving. It's moving northeastwards at a rate of about two inches per year. Might not sound much, but can have a powerful impact. So it's ramming to another section of the Earth's crust beneath Myanmar. Myanmar, does that ring a bell? We just had this powerful 7.8 earthquake in Myanmar. That has given us crazy images. Maybe you remember. If not, I'll put this video on the end screen. You should really watch it. A CCTV camera, by coincidence, captured something that has never been captured on camera before. And first you see the video. You have to watch it multiple times because you don't understand what you're looking at. But then, oh yeah, you see towers falling, you see road cracking, you see the gate opening from the shaking, but you miss the point when you look in the right corner and then you see it and you're like, <gasps> so I, if you haven't seen that video, I'll not tell you what's happening, but I tell you, it's mind blowing. It's in the end screen, guys. So the ground is moving underneath Bangladesh and this is causing a buildup of pressure, as we've seen in the Myanmar earthquake. And they say if that pressure is released all at once, the scientists warned back in 2016, it will cause an earthquake of incredible intensity. And they said it's, it's hard to say how bad it could be because we don't know how long the tension has been building. 10 years, 50 years, hundreds of years. But what the scientists said, 2016, we know there hasn't been a significant earthquake in Bangladesh for at least 400 years. So they say it's been building up for at least that long. So could this 5.5 be just a foreshock? Well, hopefully not. Because the tectonic plates that are colliding beneath Bangladesh, if they were to dislodge and slip past each other in one momentous disturbance, they said, that's what the scientists are saying, and listen to this, guys, the resulting earthquake would likely register, they say, between 8.2 and 0 and 9.2. That's mega thrust. This is something that we are fearing at the west coast of Canada and the U.S. This is something that happened in Kamchatka, that happened in Japan. So now... If you see, if you've seen the videos that you've just seen, what a disaster a 5.5 has caused. 
Imagine anything bigger. So this tectonic boundary is roughly 150 miles long. They can't predict where could be the epicenter of such a dramatic earthquake. Where this fault is, guys, this is, this is an incredible number. 140 million people are living there. 140 million people, and now think magnitude 9, with the buildings that they have. It's crazy. It's beyond scary. And back in 2016, they said the danger zone extends to the city of Dhaka. It includes the city of Dhaka. It includes that area where we just had the 5.5. And in Dhaka, no building codes existed before 1993. So there's lots of old buildings. I mean, we've seen what happens. You've seen the tilting. And also some of the ground surface around Dhaka is unstable. That's probably, we have seen so many buildings today that were tilting. Problem is this soil consists of several centuries of deposit, of soil deposited by the Ganges and Brampatura rivers. So during an earthquake, this loose sediment could exaggerate the shaking, make the shaking even worse. So especially Dhaka, what they're saying is, is a city that is basically built on jello. That's how shaky it is. So crazy, guys. I will keep you updated. A lot is happening. If you're new here, subscribe, please. Guys, please hype and like this video. Share it with your friends. Leave me a comment. What do you think? Is this a foreshock? Do you think something bigger is coming? Or is it just a 5.5 and hopefully the big one is still out? Let me know, guys. Thanks for watching. If you want to support the channel, link is in the description. Thank you so much. And hey, Check this video out in the end screen, but check both out. So if you want to go to my st channel start page, check, click on videos. There you see all my latest videos. Highly interesting stuff. See you in a second.